to be brave. They have to be brave in this sense to, to be willing uh, to, uh, to go deep inside and to work through their own problems. I think this, this is one of, of the very most uh, important thing. A good regression therapist has been very deeply into his or her own uh, unconscious to be more free, to be more harmonious person and to have a good relationship uh, to herself or, or himself. So it needs, it needs courage in this sense to become a, a good regressionist. Um, someone who's open, can learn, wants to learn, um, and realizes that this is not um, about being a technician. There's a lot of heart in this work, and I think that it requires a certain sensitivity as well, not just emotional sensitivity, but sensitivity to energy and how it moves in a person during the session. There are a lot of things that are nonverbal that are happening in a session. And if you rely purely on the words or the answers, you'll miss most of what's happening. And so I think it takes, I don't want to say it takes a unique individual, but it takes time to develop that ability to really connect with your client and have a sense of what's going on and be able to mm, respond to it appropriately. It's essential is that, you know, he's, he's curious, he's strong emotionally and psychologically. Um, it's also intelligent. There's also some intelligence that is needed. You need to really be someone that uh, thinks fast because you are quite alone in a session and you need to take initiative. You need to take clinical decisions to be in a direction or another. A student that is too fearful is you know, too blocked, so he needs to work himself a lot before he can really jump. I also don't like to see too much um, impulsiveness um, because then you also take too many wrong decisions and you are too optimistic that you can achieve everything and you don't need to prepare well, you don't need to do the homework. Yeah, be curious. Regression therapy is for curious people. This is uh, an uh, endless uh, learning field. <laughs> well, if you want to become a better person, become a therapist. It will help you to become a better person. If you want to open your heart, become a therapist. That will help you. If you really want to develop to be present in your body, in your life, in your feelings, become also a therapist. It will help you to ground down in your reality and also in a kind of to bring your spiritual dimension into your body and your life. And these are not words, this is real. This is the process I saw in myself and in the students that really kept going. I see them becoming more lovable, more, more clean and also more present. So then you can feel what's inside of a person. Let's say the result of this can be authenticity and deepness, etc.